Today we're looking at how to run 32-bit applications under Windows 3.11. First, we need to locate the Win32's install package from the internet. If we scroll down this page, we have a download link for Win32's. So I do want to save this file to disk. I'm going to save it to that temp folder, like so. And that's what downloading a file looked like back in that day, but much slower, obviously, because it would be dial-up internet. It actually specifies here that it would take between 15 and 25 minutes at the 14.4 kbps speed. So we are going to go back to our file manager. And here in our temp folder, we now have a file that we can run. So in our temp folder, we now have a setup executable, which will run to install Win32s. The path is fine. See Windows system. Very good. Installed successfully. We're going to go ahead and install FreeCell. And that was a success. We are back after Windows restarted. We have our free cell application here, which is a 32-bit application. Normally would not be able to run in Windows 3.11, but it does. Okay, so one more interesting thing to look at if we go to our file manager. I pulled a file from a Windows 95 installation. That is the calculator program from Windows 95. Now, we do still have the calculator program under Accessories, the Windows 3.11 version. So we'll do a quick side-by-side. -side. One example of a program that we can successfully install is WinRAR, which is a good one to start with because some of these other packages are in compressed archives. WinRAR95 does not work. It does not launch that executable, so I'm removing that from the install process. It works. We have a 32-bit version of WinRAR on the system. So on to the business of Firefox and CMonkey. It does not recognize the executable file that these are in, and I've double-checked the install media. They are executables according to Windows 7. They just cannot be read under Windows 3.11. So, I tried installing them and taking the installation folder and putting it onto the CD, which also does not work. We get this error. It is an invalid format. However, we do have the program GetWrite that will install. GetWrite was kind of a cool program back in the day. When you had dial-up internet, speeds were incredibly slow, so if you were trying to download a larger-ish file for the day, you would be able to pause and restart downloads without losing your progress. This was a frequent thing if you needed to disconnect to receive a phone call, or if your parents needed you to disconnect so they could make a phone call, things like that. We do have a game here that I still have not figured out how to play. Uh, called Tiles and Tribulations. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Next up, we have MIRC, chat client. Still used today, as far as I know. I haven't had the need to use it in the recent past. Which I don't have a particular room to connect to as a demonstration. But the app does launch, which is very cool. Here is a group of programs that I was testing with absolutely no success, with the exception of Acrobat Reader, which is of course important for reading all those PDF files that existed in 1994. So we do now have Acrobat Reader on here for the ever important PDF file. We do have an early version of Adobe Photoshop that we'll install now. It is a 32-bit app, so that's always exciting to get something 
32-bit going in Windows here. Back after we enter this information. All right, there we go. That's Photoshop 3 on our PC. The granddaddy of DirectX, which will allow us to install even more software in Windows 3.11. We did get some games compatible with WinG that would otherwise not run in Windows 3.11 without it. Since we already have WinG installed, let's take a look at some games we can now install and play. It starts. That concludes the news summary. We now return you to our music program. It's the same dream. Night after night, I'm searching for Lita in the dark world, and something unspeakable starts chasing me. I never make it back through the portal in time. It's been more than a year since I foiled the ancient's plans to grow an alien embryo in my brain.